Hey guys, Lego Empire back with another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the N1 Starfighters that I have. Let's go. Alright guys, so we are back with these two N1 Starfighters. One, this one is built by Pixel Dan. Um, I have used his screw thumbnail before and I might use it again for this video. I'm not sure. You'll know before I do. And this is the one made by Lego. And they have different building designs for sure. They use different parts. And I, I'm not sure. So, for instance, this Mando Starfighter on the left that LEGO made is sort of minifig scale. It is sort of minifig scale. It's, it's kind of larger than life. It's definitely a lot bigger. And I'm not sure if this is, you know, true to minifig scale, but it's definitely close. Uh, some of the details on it that I do like is the greebling on the engines actually does look really nice. I feel like they could have done more up here. Um, the parts they use to build the ship itself are actually really good. Got these nice black pieces on the back that bend. And then, of course, they have the thrusters built in, which is kind of neat, even when the ship is landed and off. I'm put this, slide this back down. Um, they have two cannons here, and then the engine is not brick built. It is like five pieces that you push this down, and the uh, stud, the um, the missile comes out from the bottom. And obviously, this does come with Mando. It comes with a BD figure. It comes with the baby, and it comes with um, I can't remember her name. I I love her though. I'll put, I'll put her name on screen, and I'll, um, I'll put it up right here. Anyway, this set isn't about the figures. I'm just putting those in there is that, the, you know, it is a honorable mention. So, it, it's interesting that the designs they picked for this. For instance, they did include some yellow on this set. Um... Sorry, I just got a bunch of emails. Um, it's definitely interesting. I mean, even if you look at the engine, which is probably the, the most distinct part from both these sets, is on the bottom they used two, like two, they use like the um, long white poles to build this set. And they have a lot of printed pieces like here, and they have a couple, there's another one on that side, and then there's the engine, which I messed up on horribly. And there's a lot of studs. I mean, obviously, it's meant to be a play set first. I think maybe if we put plates all over this, it might look a little bit better or more redeemable. Um, but I am unsure. Um, there is room for the baby in the ship. There is room for Mando in the ship. So they did accomplish that. But that's about it for this set. I mean, there's not much to really ride home about. And it's just a M1. That they, oh, and these engine pieces on the front that they use for, like, the LEGO City planes... That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good touch. Um, I'll come back to those later for the build over here. So, getting into this build, this one is definitely different. So, for contrast, this one I feel like is more minifig like accurate. Actually, I'll just leave Mando in there. I'll get. The, I'll just bring him the other Mando back. This one I feel like is very minifig accurate. It's based off of the N1 Starfighter that came out in 2017, 2016. And overall, I I, I I think this is more striking. It looks a little bit better. Um, the engines are, I don't know if they're actually silver or black in the show, but they do look the part here. Um, you can see that they're, they're built into the model, so they slowly creep out. The engine is brick built. There's no like functionality, but it's just cool. It's brick built, it looks better. There's not holes in the ship. You got little thrusters here and here. You got the big thrusters here. The engines are built meticulously with a bunch of small parts. And, you know, it's really shocking because when I bought this set, this set was like $70, $80. Um, see more of those parts there on the bottom. You know, obviously a lot of them are just hanging there, but it looks good. Um, my favorite part about this ship is that everyone has just built it a different way. And, like, so this, this side is all just pieces, as opposed to this side's, like, a bunch of smaller, you know, just pieces that are hanging on there. 
the So with this, we have um, you know a pretty good contender for what a I'm not even gonna say UCS style because UCS would just be like this times four. But this set honestly is just good. I mean the engine on the back is there. Um, I don't really think like they need they have the extra attention to detail with the engines being on anywhere else. Um I'm going to give you guys a side-by-side -side of both of these sets so that you guys can form your own opinion. Um, so on the left, like I said, we have the Mando Starfighter. It is $70 and, or $60, and it's going up to $70. So if you think this set is set worth $70, please think of it as such because the price is changing for this August 1st. Um, so if you don't have it, please pick it up before, it come, before the price goes up or else you may not pick one up. I know that if it was $70 right now, I would not buy this set. I barely wanted to buy it when it was 60. <laughs> and over here on the right, we have Pixel Dan's N1 Starfighter. That cost me like $65 like three months ago. Um, or like 80 or 70, something like that. But overall, these are the two sets. I honestly do think the winner is going to be Pixel Dan's. I know that th these videos seem kind of redundant because customs inherently look better than regulars. But there are a lot of custom sets out there that do look really good. But I want to know what you guys think down in the comments. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know if you guys already have the N1 Starfighter from this year. And as always, I'll be like, I've been Lego Empire, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.